Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom 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 in my face! Boom 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 review stuff. How are you guys doing? I am actually pre-filming this video. It is Saturday night at, oh, exactly 11 o'clock p.m. And I am waiting for my good Judy, who is watching a movie with her husband. And she said, when they're done, she said, we'll go get a fountain pop or something. I just got back from vlogging. Uh, if you haven't watched my vlog channel or checked it out, <laughs> checked it out, please go check out my vlog channel. It's called Peter Vlogs. I vlog every night for like an hour to an hour and a half. I just talk about all kinds of stuff. Um, tonight I went and I showed the house that I grew up in. I showed the house school, the house school. I showed the high school that I went to. It was all kinds of old stomping grounds is what it was. So anyway, um, and then I came home and I was like, I'm waiting for my good Judy to go do something. And I thought, uh, oh, I went out to dinner with my husband and a couple of his friends and his one friend's new boyfriend that just moved back here. And then she and he got a house together because they're living in sin. You know how that is, okay? Now, my grandma went to prison, but they're living in sin. I'm just saying, okay? My mother back then, she would have said, like, listen, okay? No man will, uh, she would always say to me, like, with my girlfriend, she'd be like, don't move in with a man. And they'd be like, why not? Why not? Because they always thought she was so wise, you know? And she would say, because uh, no man will buy the cow when he can get the milk for free. I'd be like, mother, oh my Lord. Don't say that, okay? And then I found out later that I got a grandma that went to prison, okay? So I don't know why we're passing judgment on anybody. My hair does look kind of cute tonight, doesn't it? So anyway, we went to, uh, what was it called? Kona Grill, in, is that what it's called? In Carmel, we had a great time. I had a salad and I had some uh, lemon penne, penne, okay? Dumped. Uh, lemon penne pasta, it was really good. So anyway, and I'm like craving like a cup of coffee because you can tell I, I need it, right? Like I'm like so thinking like, I would just like to be sitting like in the south of France, like with the beach, you know, right there. Somebody just called me. No, nobody called me. That's why I'm making a video on a Saturday night. I like to be sitting like in the south of France. Miami would be fine, but you know, we can't go anywhere right now. Uh, with like a, an espresso and sitting out there. You know what I mean? Like, and just got like burnt from the sun. And it was like, you know, you took a nap and you're in like your night out. Ah, I love all that. Okay, but anyway, we're gonna talk about some things that will kind of get, get us in the mood to be like, you know, like, Feeling our souls. Like, I am such a believer in, like, bringing your soul and, like, showing it on the outside and living it on your outside, right? So, anyway, um, yeah, that was it. We went out to dinner. Now I'm waiting for my good Judy to call. Did you ask another question? I'm waiting, okay? No, this isn't a Q&A. This is a haul. So, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of stuff that I have recently um, purchased or acquired. And the first two things I want to show you because they were gifts. The first thing is... Um, well, I'll show you this first. So my husband went to Barnes and Noble and he was looking for some stuff and he was so nice. He was like, babe, I know you love those meditation books. So I brought these for you. And he bought me daily kindness, 365 days of compassion, photos and wisdom to enrich your spirit, which I need because I love the meditation books because I have my Purism's channel and on there I read like meditations like this. And then I kind of talk about stories in my life that apply and things I've learned from it and all that. So then he also got me Daily Joy, 365 Days of Inspiration, Photos and Wisdom to Lift Your Spirit. Wasn't that so nice? I thought that was so cool. He brought those home for me yesterday. The other thing I wanted to show you was, um, I was at my good Judy Melissa's house the other night, and Melissa does dog rescues. Like, she's been involved in dog rescues for like five plus years. She does transfers. I mean, she's very, very, very serious about it. So she's always got dog stuff around her house, like tons and tons of it, okay? Well, when we go to our vet, they give us these covers for the vet, for the dog food, you know? And um, when our dog Pee-Pee, before he passed away, he uh, was sick and he had kidney disease for like the last six months of his life. And so he was on this special kind of food. Well, he wouldn't eat a lot of it because he didn't like it. I cannot believe that the battery is dying. I literally cannot believe that the battery is dying. Well, we're gonna talk until the battery dies and I'll go get the other battery, okay? Because I'm charging my other two batteries and they're not full, I know, because I've only been charging them for a couple minutes. But anyway, um, so they gave us these caps that you put on top of the dog food to put into the refrigerator, right? So you don't put cellophane. It's just such a mess, you know what I mean? So anyway, I said to Melissa, I said, do you mean those dog food covers? Because she and I were talking about them one day. And she gave me these, and here they are, Bow Wow Pals Pet Food Can Covers, used for both cat and dog food cans, fits four cans, fits four can sizes aren't these so fantastic and she said they're super cheap and you just take them on your can of food and you just push them down right and you don't have to use cellophane or aluminum foil i swear by these things you guys i really really swear by these things so anyway um here i'll show you i'll take one out and show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like do you see 
and then it'll sit, it like goes on it and it goes like that. You can hear it like when it snaps into place. Is that not the coolest thing? And you can see underneath here, I don't know if, um, I don't know if you can see it with the light, but there's like four different, so it'll fit four different kinds of cans. I love that, isn't the coolest thing? And don't you love a ring light that makes you look as fantastic as this? Don't even try it, okay? My grandma went to prison, I'm an OG, okay? But anyway, I am though, okay? Don't, I got her blood in me, so don't be even trying it, okay? The ring light is real light, okay? That's all you need to know. This is how I look all the time, right? I trust, because I carry a ring light with me all the time. All right, uh, I think the battery is gonna die, so I probably should go get another battery. And I, I like, none of them are charged, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're gonna try our best, so I'll be right back. Okay, it says that it's fully charged, but I know that's a lie straight from the pit of hell. It's gonna start flashing red here in a second. I'm gonna be like, damn it, Janet, can't we have nice things? Okay, so let me get into some of the other things. First of all, this black t-shirt that I have on, people are always like, do you wear the same black t-shirt? No, I do not wear the same black t-shirt. I actually, when I'm not on video, like I do wear black a lot. Um, my mom always, always, always wore black. If you watch my um, vlog video, my vlog video, my vlog, Jill, I talk about that a lot. My mom for like the last five years of her life, 10 years of her life, she um, kind of embraced some things about herself and like things that she didn't like about herself her whole life. And one of the things that she started doing was like, she really liked like big glasses and she would wear like, sh you know, like, um, what are those, she would call them pedal pushers, those pants, you know? And then she would wear like really stacked shoes and she had kind of a very cool style and she had like bleach blonde hair, you know, and she always tucked it behind her ear and she had one piece that came way down and she had kind of like shoulder length hair like most of her life that was like one length with like car cash crash bangs. My mom was had very cool style. And she always wore black and I loved that, right? Like I loved that she like kind of always embraced that. And the only, only color she would ever wear besides black is um, hot pink. She loved hot pink. It wasn't like she wouldn't, like I mean she had some things that she wore like a navy jacket and things like that or a white shirt, you know, every once in a while. But typically she was always in black and she had this hot pink like Ralph Lauren sweater that I got her one year. I got it at the outlet in Edinburgh, Indiana and she loved it and she wore it to death. I mean she loved that hot pink jacket and I got her a hot pink coat one year and she loved hot pink. So it was hot pink and black were like her two favorite things. So anyway, I do tend to find one thing that I like and then I just buy the hell out of it. This is going to be an online shopping haul because I have a lot of things that are online, but I think I'm going to show you everything that I've bought recently. So I went into Target, okay, because these are called Goodfellow t-shirts and I don't know if you can see it, but they have like, here I'll turn this down. They have like one little pocket, you can't see it with the light down either, so we'll go back up to where I look good. Um, they have one little pocket here and this is actually a 2XL, um, I, but I usually buy, like I'll buy a 2XL and an XL, right, because I'm kind of in between sizes, but when you wash an XL, like these stay the same size, okay? So like if you wash a 2XL, it stays a 2XL, it doesn't shrink and I love that. These t-shirts from Goodfellows, now I've heard Kohl's has some really great t-shirts too. These t-shirts from Goodfellows are hands down, like Goodfellows is the brand at Target. It's like a Target brand, I think. They are literally like, and they now have like men's skincare products that I showed over here. They have all kinds of stuff. It is literally the best t-shirts I've ever had in my entire life. Okay, so I bought Army Green. I already wore this one. And then I bought two white shirts here's the extra large and here's the 2xl here i'll show you what it looks like in white so you can see i already wore this one so do you see and then it has this pocket right here listen i love a good white t-shirt in the summer okay with a pair of jean shorts and some birkenstocks i mean and my wood watch don't even try it okay i would love to tell you <laughs> that I fold all of my t-shirts like this, like my husband does, like you work in the Gap. But do people even go to the Gap anymore? But I don't. My husband, he folds all of his stuff like that because he used to work in stores, okay? My husband, way back in the day, he worked at Abercrombie. <laughs> so his side of the closet looks like Abercrombie. Okay, but anyway, do you see how this is? <laughs> like it's perfectly folded. Here's my other. This one is an XL that I got. It's Army Green, isn't that pretty? And then I got it. I got this blue, which I already have. I love this blue. Um, and this is a 2XL, yeah. The 2XL are more comfy for me. And then I have never had this, this color before. It's kind of like a gray. This is the extra large, but I bought it in 2XL too. This is like this gray, like this, do you see? If you can see the color of it with the being, but it's like, you see it's like a gray. It's really cool, isn't it? And then I bought it in 2XL too. So. 
Those are all the t-shirts. They are $9.99 at Target. I swear by them, okay? And I, my friend Tanya wears them too, and she loves them. I am so impressed. Like, they used to be that Mosmo brand, you know? That that chick from uh, Family, what was that? With the Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. I love those girls. Those girls taught me how to uh, take a picture. Because they go turtle, and then they always go prune. That's how you take a picture. Go look at my Instagram. I swear to God, every picture of theirs like, on my Instagram. If you see that, you know it's the truth. Okay. But Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, what was that show they were on? Family Feud. Fa what was that show? I, it wasn't Family Feud because I love Family Feud. What was that show that they were on? You know, but that one woman that she's probably going to prison because she bought her daughter's way into college. That foolish one. You know, what was her name? But her husband, he owned those t-shirt brands. You know, Mosmo, Mosmo something. But his name's Mosmo something. I don't know. My hair looks good though. But anyway... <laughs> Um, they got rid of him, okay, when he got into the college scandal. You know what I'm talking about? Keep up, folks. Keep up, okay? This, go watch my drama channel. I did videos. What is her name? I can't even remember her name. She's the one that, like, came out and, like, waved at the paparazzi. I'm like, girl, you are at, you are in a courtroom, okay? You're not, why are you waving to the paparazzi? You're crazy. Anyway, trash. Okay, so then the next thing, you guys, if you watch my drama channel, you are going to get so excited about this. Oh, yeah, I bought some merch. Don't think I didn't, okay? What merch did you did I buy? <laughs> Rock on, gold dust woman. I bought some Stevie Nicks merch. Here's my favorite album of life, Bella Donna. Which the other day, I said that, um, uh, I said Nightbird was on Bella Donna, which it's not, I don't think. I think Nightbird is on this other song because it came up on my iTunes and it wasn't Bella Donna. Uh, hold on a second. <clears throat> Rhiannon rings like a bell through the night and wouldn't you love to love her? Don't even worry that I'll be wearing this with jean shorts and I will be so hot. And people will be like, is that a Stevie Nicks t-shirt? I'll be like, yes, don't even worry about it. It's mine. Move on. Next. Okay. So that's my Stevie Nicks t-shirt. I got that merch. I got those off of some store on Amazon or something like that. I don't even know. Don't, like I said, don't worry about it. Okay. Go buy your own if you want them. These are mine. Okay. This is show and tell. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like show and tell. I love show and tell so much. Okay, when I was in kindergarten, oh my god, there was this girl and her name was Stacy, and her parents were very wealthy because her dad was like a pacer player or something like that. I don't know. But she, I always wanted one of those things, you know, that was like a half bear faucet, and she had that, and I was so jealous, right? She also had the one that was Cher, but you know what I'm talking about where you could do their hair and makeup and stuff? I always wanted that. My mom wouldn't buy it. She bought me an easy make oven. She bought me the doll that poops and peeps. She bought me all that kind of stuff, okay? My parents, they did not care, okay? My mom used to say, you'll, it'll make you a real good dad one day. I don't think she got it. You know what I mean? But anyway, but my dad, he said he got it from day one. He didn't care though. Here's another dolly. Go have fun, you know? I had to have the Cabbage Patch Dolls Trust. I had all of it, okay? But anyway, my parents did not care about that stuff. They just did not, okay? I had the coolest, most accepting parents and family and friends of family that you can ever imagine. My, I was surrounded by love and I... And I feel so blessed and so grateful for that, you know? Don't do a bunch of that screwed up stuff to your kids. Just don't, okay? Love them. They're your kids. You wanted them, you know? So love them, whatever they turn out to be, right? So anyway, I feel so blessed for that. I really, really do. So anyway, but I wanted that thing so bad. My mom, she finally drew the line. She goes, no. She goes, you got enough of this crap at home. You don't play with what you got, okay? It wasn't about the fact that it was doing hair. She should have bought it for me because I'd be making, listen, I'd be making half a million dollars living in LA right now like that Justin Anderson trust. I would be doing like hair and makeup, okay? Or Jose Bear. Where is he these days? I don't know. Did he pass away? Do you remember Jose Bear with the long braid and the cowboy hat and all that kind of stuff? But anyway, it doesn't matter. I would be just like him, okay? If I had had that thing tr practicing to do hair, in kindergarten. Can you even imagine where I would be today? Okay, trust. I would be the expert of hair and makeup. So anyway, so anyway, I digress. Okay. So this girl, Stacy, though, she came to school with an exact replica, okay, of, uh, what do you call it, of Cher, dressed like Cher, okay, in the Sonny and Bono, I Got You, Babe. You know, I put that, that song is in my book that I wrote. And I was like, it was in, like this purple outfit. I was like, oh my God, I want to Cheered all so much. And my teacher and Stacy were so nice, they let me play with it. Wasn't that so nice? And she had the hair like this, and I was like, I got you, babe. And I was like playing with it in the kindergarten class and stuff while with all the other kids were like napping. They like were on their nap mats, and my teacher like took me in the teacher's, you know, like resource room, and she's like, here, play with it. Yeah. 
She was so good. I remember her name and everything too. My mom would always remember her name. She'd say, do you remember that kindergarten teacher? I'd be like, oh yes, I do. She let me play with that share and all. And so did Stacy. And Stacy, I love you. You are fantastic, okay? I hope you're fabulous today. Okay, so anyway, let's move on. The next thing I wanna show you, and these are real quick. Now, I saw that Andy Cohen. So my husband and I, we kind of like share the same celebrity crushes, okay? Andy Cohen is like, okay, he's between like one and two. Daniel Craig is my one, and um, Alex is number one is Andy Cohen. My number two is Andy Cohen, and his number two is, uh, what do you call it, Daniel Craig. Now, my number three, okay, is uh, Anderson Cooper. I think he's so good looking. Brad Pitt, he don't look so good these days, okay? He just doesn't. But anyway, Andy Cohen, oh, isn't he, he's cute and he's funny. I just think he... I love Andy Cohen. Andy, if you're watching this out there, no, don't. Okay, don't hit me up. <laughs> but if you do, do it privately in my DMs. Okay, so anyway, he was doing a show one night because, you know, he's doing his shows from home, and he had on this hoodie. <gasps> look at this hoodie on me. Oh, my God. Don't even try it. I look so good. Okay, where, where's the string? Okay, he had this Ralph Lauren hoodie on. I'm actually, I think, going to surprise my husband with it for our anniversary, which is coming up in three weeks. <gasps> but look at this hoodie. It's so cute. Oh, my God. It is literally, like, it doesn't zip or anything. It has this little thing down here, you know? <gasps> I loved this hoodie so much. I was like, oh my God. I looked at my husband and I go, well, actually he has this on his Instagram. He has this uh, Ripple t-shirt that I want, okay? I am a huge Grateful Dead fan. The song Ripple is one of my favorite songs of life. Did you ever see it in that movie Mask at the very end when she's like, Cher, y'all. See, I love Cher. There's a theme going on here. And she's like, Rocky, now you can... She's putting those pegs in that map. And she's like, now you can go anywhere you want to go, Rocky. And Ripple's playing in the background. Oh, I cry and die every time I see that scene. But anyway, I digress. Okay, Andy Cohen has this uh, Grateful Dead tie-dye t-shirt on there. And it's some ceramic company. I have looked at this website to see if they keep on like putting the t-shirt up. But the t-shirt's always sold out, right? I want it so bad, okay? XL, if you know anybody at the store. But anyway, but it's always sold out. He has it on there and he's like playing like Star Wars with his kid or something. Go to his Instagram. You'll see what I'm talking about. It is such a cute tie-dye shirt. But anyway, he had this on and I was like, I'm getting it because then I'll be Andy, Andy Cohen, right? Okay. And I liked it so much. <laughs> My husband was so pissed. I liked it so much that I might have bought two of them. I did. I bought another one. I was like, oh, no. I'm going to look so good this fall. I have to lose all this weight, okay? But I look, I have all this stuff for the fall. Okay, I'm so excited. I have so many things to show you that I haven't even got to yet. This video is getting long. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is, now somebody mentioned this to me and was like, would you please review this? And I was like, I have never even heard of this in my entire life, right? But I will review it for you. And then I got on the website and I was like, damn, they have some cute stuff. So the website is called Rare Form, okay? And it's like bags, wallets, pack back, or back, pack backs. Listen to me. Backpacks, all this kind of stuff that's real cute. They have mini backpacks. And the mini backpacks are like 30 bucks and they're on sale right now for like $22. And I was like, hell's bells, yes, I'll review it. For $22, me, get another backpack. Are you kidding me? I'm the king of backpacks. Okay, they're all made out of like old billboards, okay? So it's recyclable material, so it's sustainable, okay? And I love that. I, I love anything that has a cause. I love anything that's recyclable. I love anything that's like of the earth. You know, I'm a vegetarian and all that kind of stuff. So I got this backpack. I think it was, I literally think that, does it have a price in here? On here? No, it just says one. Oh, it says thank you. Oh, hold on a second, maybe it does. Looking at my battery. Oh, I got a sticker with it. Oh, I got three stickers with it. I didn't even look in this thing. Good thing. I was going to throw that away. It says, thank you. Get ready. Starting today, you'll be getting tons of compliments on your new rare form gear. And you'll get questions too. So share our story. Uh, because trust us, you'll never see a billboard the same way again. So anyway, isn't that cool? And then on the thing, I can't really show it to you. But it says, like the packaging that they send it in. Can I show you? is even sustainable, recyclable packaging. It's not so cool. Okay, so let me show you the backpack that I got. Are you ready? <gasps> How cute is this mini backpack? Oh my God, I had to have it, okay? So it has a little zipper in front. Y'all know I love that, okay? Because I can put like my wallet and my cell phone and everything in there. Now, I was going to get a green one, but I got this red one, okay? And it's like denim kind of material on the back. It's really, you guys, it's really thick, like me. It's really thick. I 
mean family friendly, okay? But it's really thick and like durable. It's like really durable. And the straps are super durable. Okay, it's not cheap at all. Like it totally, I thought it would come and it would just be like flimsy junk, okay? Now they have like every, like so many different colors and things like that, it's really cool. And some of them have like print across that. The smaller ones don't. I wanted one that had like print across it that looked like a billboard, but those were the bigger backpacks. And I wanted to wait. I think I, I will get a bigger backpack or maybe a travel bag because of this. Okay, now when you open it, now y'all know I love this. When I travel, okay, right here is a zipper pocket. It's where I put my money or my passport or whatever, or lippies, you know, like lips, lip balms and stuff. And then it has like this huge area in here, okay? Now, a laptop would not fit in here, okay? But books would, I mean, just to go like, my purse, I need a new purse. I have, I, I'm looking for new purses, so I got that back. Anyway, I totally think this is worth it, you guys, okay, totally. What should I do? Here, I need a thumbnail, I didn't even think about that. Hold on. Okay, there's my thumbnail right at 15 minutes. Okay, so, got all that. Put that over here. Where's my phone in case Tanya Jean texts me? And then I know it's time I need to get off the phone. She didn't text me yet. Sure don't care about me. Nobody cares about me. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is, I'm so excited about this. Now, if you watch my vlog or my other channels, you know I thought hard about getting these, okay? Because they're $95 each. Um, and they're reading glasses. And I have gotten to the point where I'm like using reading glasses like 80% of the time. Um, it's kind of been like a progressive thing that's happened. About a year and a half ago, I started, you know, like putting the, mirror, the menu out like this. And I was like, I really fought it. I was like, I don't want to get reading glasses. I don't want to get reading glasses. I don't want to get reading glasses. Now I'm like literally to the point where like, okay, so when I went to get my last eye appointment, which was a uh, year ago, I'm coming up on needing one. She tested me. I think I'm coming up on needing one. Anyway, she tested me and she was like, Maybe it was a year before, and she told me I was a 1.5 reading glasses, right? So I bought a bunch of reading glasses. I bought some off of Amazon that I absolutely love. Okay, they're just kind of like Ray-Ban looking glasses. They were nine, or they were, I think they were 9.99 for two or 20 for two or something. I love them. But I saw this come up on Instagram, okay? This Caddis, I think I'm pronouncing it right. C-A-D-D-I-S, Caddis or Caddis. I think it's Caddis. It like their marketing is so genius. So it's geared towards like older people, but there's a lot of celebrities like Robert Downey Jr. I think and some other people that use them. But it's like every person on there is like very artsy and different and kind of beat, like dances to the beat of their own drum. And I was like, I really love kind of like what these glasses speak of. Even though the glasses are like not the most different glasses in the entire world, I was like, I really like their marketing. That their marketing, even though, I mean, they're reading glasses, so we know that they're probably for older people, right? Because that's the majority of the people that wear them. But I was like, I really like this. Like, they're really, like, surfers are on there, artists, painters, musicians. It's so cool, right? So I bought two pairs, you guys. Here they are. The, I could not believe the boxes when they came, okay? Here are the boxes that they come in. Is this not so cool? Look at that. So that's one box. This is the other box, and it says Caddis right here. And on the bottom of both boxes, it has this written, and I'm gonna read it to you in just a second. See, it says Caddis right there. And on the bottom of each box, it says, this is for people who are not in the, this is for people who are not in the long process of giving up. It has everything to do with age, but nothing to do with your job, your gender, or whether you live in Orange County or Hazard County. It has to do with being who you are and owning it. And I say, be too much. And I was like, I'm getting these glasses, so I love these. Now, I wanted to try them for you guys to tell you what I really think, okay? So, I tried these first, and I'm going to show you. Now, when you open these, okay, you open, you get them, the glasses are here, and then you open this little thing, and they come with a carrying, a, like a bag, okay, which is really, really cool. Isn't that cool? I didn't even know that I was getting, like, a little bag with them when they came, okay? See a little hidden container? And these are, like, hard, so I'm going to keep these and use these. So here's my little bag of them, and this is, these are called the Porky's Backstage. This is the, I've been using these for the last 24 hours. This is the first pair that I got. Hi, how are you doing? I don't always go to restaurants, but when I, when I do. <laughs> People used to tell me I looked like that most interesting guy in the world, I wish, but aren't they so cute? Okay, wait a second. So, uh, they are crystal clear and clear as day, I love them. But here's the coolest thing, okay? I don't know if you can see this. 
But they have words written right here and here on top of the glasses. Can you guys see that? I don't think you can. Do you see that right there? Okay. So the left hand side says goofy and the right hand side says regular. I am in love. And they're super, super solid. They are so solid, you guys. I mean, they are so durable. And the ones that I bought off Amazon, sure, they're great. Okay, they're cute. I have one in a pair of every room, you know? Is there like a bug flying around me like a moth or something? <laughs> like a moth to a flame for my flyer. My love is blank. See your desire? That's the way love goes. Okay, but anyway, they are so durable, you guys. They are fantastic. I love them. And I just feel like they kind of speak of me, you know? But wait, it gets so much better. Are you ready? Okay, hold on, I gotta turn the light up a little bit. Hi, Boo Radley. Hi, Tucker, how are you guys doing? Okay, so let me show you the next pair. Are you ready? So you open them, you guys. I was like, I never do anything. Like, I mean, I used to dress so funky and fun and Western shirts and tons of jewelry and bracelets and, you know, all kinds of Chuck Taylors and roll up my, you know, jeans, like up to my calves. And I used to dress so different. And I'm like, I'm doing some fun stuff. Like, it is time for me to be weird, embrace my age and just have fun with my life going forward. You know, I have a life beyond my wildest dreams. I love what I do and I'm going to have fun with it. And so I got these glasses. They're not super different or anything, but they're totally just not me. And I was like, I'm getting these. What do you guys think? Can you see them? Okay, they're like crystal. They're clear. They're not crystal clear, but do you see them? I don't know if you can see them or not. Hold on a second. Let me turn down the ring light. Here, I'll show you what they look like. Do you see? How cool are those? And on them, they say to the left, port, and to the right, they say starboard. You guys, and they're so comfortable. I mean, they are so, 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 so comfortable. I am so in love with these. Aren't they so cute? I feel like I want to turn the ring light off, but I don't know if you'll be able to see anything. No, you can't see anything. That was bad light. No, we don't need all that. But are they not so cute? Look at that. I'm like so in love with it. Okay, so when you open the box, this was like a surprise to me. You pull this little thing. I thought it was gonna be like instructions or something. See, you pull this open and inside is a bag that matches the box that you put your glasses in. And I put my glasses in that carrying case tonight and I took them to dinner and everybody was like, oh my God, those are so cool. Where'd you get those? I was like, Caddis, don't even worry about it. So anyway, is that not so cool? Oh my God, I love it so much. Okay. So let me put my glasses in my new carrying case. Oh my God. I'm so excited to like take these places. True story though, we went out to dinner last night with our friends Melissa and Jason and their niece. And I got um, to dinner and I was like, I forgot my menu. And you know what I had to do? I had to take a, or I forgot my menu. I forgot my reading glasses. And so everybody's like reading me stuff off the menu, which is like, <laughs> I appreciate your help, okay? But it's not the same, right? I had to take pictures of the menu and I had to like spread them up on my phone so that I could see what they are. Now, I've been waiting to do this video until this came in the mail, okay? Now, we were in um, Dallas, it was, for a wedding in February. It was the last time we ever traveled on a trip. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, and we stayed at this hotel. I cannot remember the, ho the hotel that we stayed at. It was very bougie and it was fantastic. And it was right like next to um, this one, was it Neiman Marcus was it, I think? And, um, but there was a store across the street. I loved this hotel. I don't, I can't remember where we stayed, but I, I vlogged the whole thing. It was so fun. We had, oh God, this, Oh my God, the hotel room. I just love a good hotel room, don't you? It was like leather paneled like behind the bed and the floor was like this rich carpet and the windows were floor to ceiling and we looked out onto the street and it had like this motorized stuff that the lights would go up and down and it had this walk-in shower that was huge and like every detail, there was like succulents all over the room. It was very, very cool. It was so fantastic. And the room service was incredible too. But across the street, and we had our fun at our friend's wedding, but across the street, there was this uh, store and it was like, three stories and we went in there right it was very bougie okay and we actually went in there because we wanted to see this like thing that was on the other side that was like this eyeball that you could only see it if you went to this like restaurant or store that was next there so we went to this store on the ground floor 
they had all of the, it was like all these colognes, and the second floor was like women's, and on the third floor was men's. I think they had housewares in there too. It was very expensive, but very, very cool. Like I saw tons of stuff that I wanted, like tie-dyed knits and stuff, okay? That were literally like $570, okay, for like, um, like a sock. I mean, it was expensive. But anyway, on the ground floor, we are looking through the, like the scents, like the colognes and stuff, and they had the lavo, okay? Well, my good friend that passed away from breast cancer in November, she she loved Lalabo, and she actually made her own perfume in Chicago. And one time, she had such cool style. She was just such an amazing woman, and I loved her so much. And she had like the Canadian Goose Coach, but she had it like you know the one that was like pink inside, and it was like on the outside. It was um, what do you call it? Um, camouflage. It was very cool. So she had this Lalabo perfume, and it was unbelievable. And she had it made herself because you can go there to these Lalabo perfumeries, and you can make your own cologne or perfume, right? Like you can make it yourself, but it's very expensive. And they put your name on the tag, right? So we're going through there, and I took pictures of the ones I liked because I wasn't going to buy it that day, and I wanted to wait and see. Well, there was one that I really liked. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it was called like Ylang 49. It's Y-L-A-N-G. Lang, Lang 49. They had a patchouli I liked, okay? And then they have one that's really famous with women, and I think it's called Santal, like 33, or Santal, Santal 33, or something like that. So I was going to buy this Lang, Lang 49 or whatever, right? Um, when I got home, and it was like $275 for a bottle, and it was like 100 milliliters. Like that, it's like half of what I usually buy, and it's like twice as much. I mean, the Creed is expensive that I buy, but this was, like, really expensive. And I was like, I don't know that I want to buy one that I really like, whatever. So I went to Saks because I was buying Creed. Well, they, I bought it online there. I paid the money to buy it. Well, the same day that I bought it, they canceled it because they were out of it at Saks. So I got on the Labo, and I was going to order it, right? Well, I saw that they have samples over there. So I ordered, it just came today in the mail. I ordered, <laughs> Boo Radley just ran. I ordered, it's not just the cats that go running. I ordered like six or seven of these. And I'm so excited because I don't remember what this yalang lang smells like, but I know I wanted it that day. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna open this together. I'm gonna show you how this comes. Oh my God, very cool. So this is how each sample comes, okay? They come wrapped like this. Do you see? Very cool. And this like packing stuff. And then they have like a thing on top of them. Okay. And then there's like these little things. It must have samples in them. And it says there is, I mean, everything is just like really high end. Hold on a second. I want to put on my glasses because I can't see. Um, so it's my order summary, which each of these samples was $6 and it came to $42 and there was no tax and it was very, very quick, okay? So hold on a second, let me turn the slide up a little bit. So I got Santal 33, Vetiver 46. I looked online like the best colognes for men from La Labo. Uh, Rose 31, Irish 39, Oud 27, Ylang 49, and Patchouli, 29, uh, Patchouli 24. So I'm gonna try some of these. I wanna see the Ylang one first and see why this was the one that I had to have. Here it is. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. How do you open this? Get it out. Oh, I see, okay. So, oh, it just comes right out and it sprays. So we're gonna try this. Why is this the one that I had to have? It smells really good, but I'm really surprised that this is the one that I would want. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear that. I wouldn't wear that at all. Ooh. It smells like old lady perfume. I, I, a true story, I would not wear that. I, I can't, I don't even need to think about it a lot. Like, I can't believe that I even like, was like having to have that. Well, that saved $275, didn't it? Yeah, mm, mm Okay, well let's try some of these other ones. Let's try the Vetiver 46. I'm actually gonna spray some on these papers here. Oh no, that's really nice. That is good. Oh, that is so good. That is so me. Okay, now that's a keeper. That right there, baby. That's a keeper. Vetiver 46. Okay. I might, I might, I don't know, I don't know that I like it enough that I have to buy it. 
Now this is Iris 49. Why is it so small in here? How do you get this out? Well, we'll try that later, I guess. Um, Oud 27, this was another one of them that they said that men would love. Let's try this. No, not at all. Wouldn't wear that, it's disgusting. Okay, I'm glad I didn't pay more than $6 for these. Okay, these will be gifted to people. <laughs> oh my lord, oh. Which one is this? This is the Rose 31, okay. They all remind me, they're not good. They're, they all remind me of my grandma, all of them. Except for that vetiver. What, why are they in here, some of them? What is this one? Okay, let's try the patchouli, because I can remember I tried it and my husband was like, absolutely not. It doesn't smell like patchouli. It smells like, it smells like some kind of alcohol. I can't, exp I can't, I know. But right away he sneezes and he's like, put that crap away. You guys, none of these are good. Oh my God, I'm so glad I saved my money. This is gonna stop, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I was filming, but I sprayed it, the Chantal 33, on this bill, and I realized I was like holding it right up to the camera so y'all could see my information. <laughs> so anyway, okay, we're gonna spray this again. I, I, we'll act, I'll act surprised again. Ooh, I really like that. It's crisp, it smells like kind of like smoky cucumbers. I can't explain it. It kind of smells like a hotel lobby. It smells really good. Now, I would wear this one. I would, and it's very unisex. It's very, very unisex, the Santal 33. I would wear this, and I would wear the vetiver. The rest of them are nasty. I, I mean, like, not even, like, like, if I smelled it on somebody, I'd be like, not good at all. I'm really surprised. But I will tell you this. First of all, I won't be ordering any Lil Labo, <laughs> okay? I'm going to be sticking with my creed. Um, I will maybe think about the vetiver. I'll wear it once or twice out and see. I think it's very expensive for the smell. You know, like when I first smelled Creed on somebody else, I was like, oh my God, the Creed Aventus. I was like, what is that? Like, I have to have that. Like, that is so fantastic, right? But like, none of these, like, I, I, that day in the store, I don't know what it was. Maybe I was just trying to like throw away some money or something because I was like, oh my God, I have to have this, you know? I can remember when I smelled Bleecker Street too, like um, a Bond, number, Bond number nine Bleecker Street. I used to wear that for a long time. It's expensive as well. I remember the first time that I smelled it on somebody and I was like, oh my God, what is that? It's so good, you know? That's the cologne that I want to wear. Like Alex's friend, Sarah, his best friend, she wears uh, Alien by Terry Mugler. And I mean, every time I smell it on her, I, like, I asked her like for 10 times in a row, I was like, what is that? I always forget. She's like, it's Alien by Terry Mugler. And I bought it for men and I don't like it for men as well. I, I wear it, I don't love it, but it's not my favorite. But, um, you know, like, I want a cologne that just stops me in my tracks. I'm like, oh, my God, I love that. Like, Creed Aventus is that. Um, like, a cheaper one that I, that's not as expensive as that. I mean, still an expensive cologne. Like, that Dior Sauvage, I absolutely love. Like, it stops you in your tracks. Chanel Blue is one that stops you in your tracks. But, like, these, I don't know. They're very, I would say... Like, you would have to be somebody that I think really, really appreciated, like, colognes and, like, you know what I mean? Like, the art of colognes and perfume. But what's interesting to me is that my friend made her own. I don't know how you do that at the place. I think the concept is very cool. But she did it at that place, and she always smelled fantastic, and I loved it. But this is too much. I just, I can't with it. It's, like, so strong, you know? But anyway, that's the end of my, my haul. My God, it was, like, a 30-minute haul, you guys. Quit making me spend money! But I'm excited about all the things I got. I'm like gearing up for the fall. Can you see? Like I'm starting to kind of nest and get like clothes for the fall and things like that. So, but I'm not ready for summer to be over yet. So anyway, let me know what you think about these things. I think my favorites of the picks were the Ralph Lauren hoodies, which you can still get, but they don't have them really, I don't think in any color, um, except for the gray maybe. But you can get them at Ralph Lauren or at Saks online. I think they're $98 each. And then I, the Caddis um, 
if you're if you're wearing ring, uh, re readers all the time, like I want a pair of readers. Like this is, I mean, these are gonna be like reading glasses that like I take out when I'm going somewhere. Like you know, I'm gonna be at a friend's house or something like that. So they're like more like social durable and things like that. I'm gonna probably keep using my Amazon ones just like for like, cause I, I mean, I literally like throw them around, throw them in my pocket. I lose them all the time. I sit on them. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that with these. So anyway, I'm very very excited about that. And the rare form backpack I love too. And for the price, you can't beat it. They are having a huge sale over there. It's rare form. R A R E F O R M. So anyway, go check out all this stuff. Oh, and the Target t-shirts. <laughs> Good fellows. I mean, are you kidding me? Love them. So anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.